Well, we've got some plans. We've uh, found some 50 series cards. Wait. All, all this in the 5090? What the? I'm out. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we'll take a peek at some 50 series cards. There's a couple 5080s here, 5070 Ti, even a 5070, that dreaded card that nobody wants to buy that is so horrible for gaming. Well, maybe we should look at it in something besides gaming. Let's take a peek at some of these cards and their performance in terms of productivity. Um, a lot of benchmarks here, a lot of time. Hopefully, you get some value out of this. Um, which, do I keep them all? Oh, I'd love to keep them all. Wouldn't that be great? This is, no, I can't keep them all. That'd be... <laughs> I got to get rid of some of these. I have a lot of systems, but they all don't need these cards. These are all excellent cards. I would like a 5090. Where, where are the 5090s at? I, I guess I'm not paying, you know. $3,500 and up for a 5090 right now. Check these prices out. You know, this this is the card that I've been working with, the 5080 gigabyte gaming OC. And I thought $1,400 uh, before tax and everything out the door was pricey. Now, this card is going for much higher. Um, I didn't think it was worth it at $1,400, you know, God bless you guys that want to pay more for this card. Looking for cheaper options. The PNYs, they're just not available. Um, the 999 cards, the 750 Ti card, the 550, 5070 card. I mean, I did not pay MSRP for any of these, unfortunately. Um, I was looking for the lowest possible options I could get in order to try to get some options to look at productivity. We will look at some games, too, because I realize that's popular. But I'm primarily not a gamer. I'm looking for what's my best bang for the buck in terms of productivity. And there's some fun stuff coming out. I'm really excited to um, be able to feature these cards. And I know you've seen all of my Intel systems. I've got an AMD system that I'm building. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's time, right? It's time. I mean, AMD's top dog right now. As much as I like the 14th gen over Intel's latest CPU, I, I, I still have zero hesitations in building a 14th gen. I know how to keep them cool. I know how to keep them running. Uh, that's in my channel. Please go check that out. If it if you're afeard over buying a 14th gen, go check those out. Um, that, that, that information is there, undervolting, bid locking, thanks to some uh, other content creators. And I've referenced it. It's it's all there. Get a good block. It's all, all the testing is there. But if you're not wanting to do that, I don't blame you for wanting to go to the Intel, the not the Intel platform, the AMD platform. The AMD is top dog right now. Um, it's not going to be a 9950X 3D. I didn't want to swing for that kind of processor. Um, um, this this is not, I'm not sponsored yet. I don't. I don't have manufacturers supporting me. What you see in front of you came out of my pocket. All of those systems that I built out of my pocket. That AMD system that I'm going to try to feature on this channel and do some of the same benchmarks and comparing the Intel and the AMD systems. This it's I'm I'm doing it. A I want to learn this information myself. I want to see which really is the best bang for your buck, and I'm really hoping you guys find some value in it. We'll have some fun along the way, but I hope. So, <laughs> so hang with me here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get through some of these productivity benchmarks. I've got some synthetic benchmarks, and I've got some uh, productivity benchmarks, particularly in DaVinci Resolve. That's the, uh, I use the studio version. So there's a 19 and a 20 beta that we can plow through here. This is going to be fun. Let's check this out. 